amplified by Helene. It's not Helene yet. It's potential tropical cyclone number nine, but that one is going to get named and that circulation is going to draw down the drier air for us. So we've got two days of widely scattered activity. Then the rain chances drop off and it'll be with Helene. I am saying that it's soon to be Helene tro potential tropical cyclone nine moving toward Florida. Another area of interest in the Atlantic. We're not worried about that one. Uh, this will be the one to focus on for the next several days. Again, it's not organized at this time. It's producing winds of 35 miles per hour. It's in the Western Caribbean Sea. There's a lot of unsettled weather with it. The cone now you'll see brings this up to a strong and dangerous category three major hurricane. 115 mile per hour winds before landfall Thursday. Looks like the Big Bend part of Florida then moving inland and weakening. So well away from us, we'll still see though some minor coastal impacts from this storm. We've got weather impact alerts up for area beaches. The waves aren't going to be huge. Two to four feet Friday, three to five feet on Thursday, but the period on them will be long. That alone is enough to raise the rip current risk, so that will be elevated Thursday, Friday and Saturday. You'll want to use caution on the water as this storm again moves to the north, so it shoots the gap between the Yucatan and Cuba and then gets very strong and dangerous en route to the panhandle of Florida. At the same time, that counterclockwise spin again draws in the drier air to South Texas. And while that's really bad over there, we're going to be looking